Welcome to another Scene World unboxing. Today we have a parcel that's come from the Netherlands, and as you can see by the name on the tape here, it's from Onomatopoeia Publications. It comes from the Latin word onomatopoeia, which means a word that sounds like what it is. So, for example, in English we'd say bang, crash, and zap, but onomatopoeia. And we have floppy disk fever, the curious afterlives of a flexible medium. 150 pages of contemporary floppy disk culture. So text by Nick Kilkman, designed by Thomas Oscar, forward by Laurie Emerson, and media glossary by Jason Gertis. So floppy disk fever is the book that explores the curious afterlives of the floppy disk in the 21st century. It reflects on notions of obsolescence, media preservation and nostalgia, and challenges those by interviewing those involved with that medium today. From floppy filmmakers to floppy painters and beyond, what drives people to continue working with a piece of technology that is typically deemed obsolete? What challenges and affordances does it provide? And what does the future hold in store for the familiar black square? These questions and many more are tackled by Nick Hilgman and Thomas Walschgar doing in-depth conversations with Jason Scott of archive.org, Tom Persky, floppydisk.com, Florian Kramer, Jason Curtis from the Museum of Obsolete Media, Adam Frankovitz from Pioneer Sky Records, Foon Turing, Clint Basinger from Lazy Game Reviews, Nick Gentry, Mark van der Acker from Hellman Computer Museum, and Yev Droger and AJ Hart from Scene World. By looking at the current presence of past technology, we can assess our present day situation and speculate on the future developments of our media minded landscape. After all, the technology of the past is also part of our future. And so you can see why I wanted to do an unboxing for Scene World. Because Mathcom and Derision from our team are involved. So let's uh, take the shrimp rack thing off and have a look inside. I'll leave links in the comments to all these people interviewed and of course to the website where you can buy the book yourself. The shrink wrapping is proving tough to get off and managed to get a little corner here. Now I can get the scissors underneath and pull that back. As you can see, the name on the spine now. So let's have a look inside. Floppy disk fever. Contents, forward, preface. Media glossary. And it's interesting, it's called the main event. So AJ and Jörg, multi platform disc mags, swapping culture, and the demo scene. So, as I say, you can see this is the first time I've opened this, so I haven't had a chance to read through it yet. So, another page there. The mere image of the floppy disk floats nearly unnoticed through our, our entire digital eco stream. Forward from Laurie Emerson, Associate Professor in the Department of English and the Intermediate Arts Writing Performance Programme at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Also Founding Director of the Media Archaeology Lab. She reflects on the potential dangers and productive possibilities of nostalgia that the more becomes with floppy disks. So, floppy disk of course used as a save icon in modern interfaces. The preface in state of flux beyond pillars and coasters. Copy disc pillow there. The last man in the business, Tom Persky, founder of floppydisc.com, selling and recycling floppy disks. Also do disc transfers. There's Tom. Oops, skipped a page there. Floppy disc duplication. Inventory at the warehouse. Discs arrive in large quantities. The gory details. Florian Kramer, practice oriented research professor in Rotterdam, creates and distributes films using floppy disks. And in his case, it's the 1.544 megabyte, three and a half inch disk. So the, that camera uses. A floppy disk, single frame from Oscar-nominated movie *The Wrestler*, stills from 
L Towers, 2000 pen, which fits on a single floppy disk in HD quality. Looking forward by looking back, Clint Basinger, Lazy Game Reviews, collects big box floppy disk games. Interfacing a 3.5 inch USB drive with a smartphone. Clint's collection there. Everyone, everything shapes us. Nick Gentry, the artist who uses obsolete media as a raw material for his artworks. So there you see floppy disks. Work in progress. Oil and paint and use computer disks creating that image. And again there. A memorable sort of limitation, Foon Turing, media collector, hardware hacker and Twitter personality. The Copy Pro 200 floppy disk duplication, a floppy keyboard, a floppy disk museum, the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. The main event, SceneWorld, is an eclectic NTSC and PAL disk mag that started out in 2001 and is still running today. It's kept active by an international group of enthusiasts hailing from Peru, Germany, China, the USA and the UK. New issues of the magazine are published regularly through the website as executable files for Commodore 64 and Amiga. And it's also still spread on floppy disk. So there's part of our team at Gamescon in 2019. Selection of the opening menus from SceneWorld and also then from Lodestar. Driven and Vandalism News, also disk magazines. Major and Jörg working together on Scene World. Underground Adventure. Adam Frankovitz, contemporary electronic composer, founded Pionist Star Records. So Adam there, his home studio. The catalogue on floppy disks. Lost and Found, Jason Curtis from Shropshire, England, founded the Museum of Obsolete Media. So there's Jason, screen grab at the home page. Unusual media there of various sorts. It's a collection. Bart van der Acker, founder of the Hellman Home Computer Museum in the Netherlands. The workspace, home to collection machines, and a Sinclair C5 there. Apple computers in the museum. Jason Scott, known as Sketch, Sketch Cow with a slip disk, works for the Internet Archive, and the Internet Archive is a fascinating resource. So much a floppy disk flux image created using cryoflux showing you where the data is on the disk the archive team archive.org and then the glossary by jason curtis talking through various terms so combat flash blu-ray bbs and so on and right at the back of the book here, just flip over there, the acknowledgements. So thank you to everyone involved. And that's the end of the book. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at Floppy Disk Fever, which features my colleagues from SceneWorld. And I hope you will continue to watch the SceneWorld channel. For more news, reviews, interviews, podcasts and unboxing.